In the words of the late George Carlin, BS is the glue that binds us together as a nation. Here comes a ton of it. It's time for BSN with Big Nate. Welcome into another edition of BS and with Big Nate. I'm Big Nate. It's Memorial Day weekend, and you know, mm, the weather may allow for grill outs, for cookouts, for uh, for getting out in your backyard and uh, properly honoring those who have fallen. So, uh, seems only appropriate if uh, you are cooking out, you're going to need dessert. And uh, there's a person I know who makes great desserts, and uh, her name's Chelsea Renee. And she's joining us again on BS and with Big Nate. And what are we making today, Chelsea? Well, do you want to take a guess, you know, about the ingredients, what we could potentially yeah. be doing? So the ingredients I was told to get were instant chocolate pudding or butterscotch. Or was that the fudge? Doesn't matter. I don't like butterscotch. I completely avoided butterscotch altogether. So I've got chocolate instant pudding, hot fudge dessert topping. Oreos. I was told to have at least eight. Um, I have three. I, I was I was at the grocery store. Texted my wife. Hey, do we have Oreos? Yeah, we have at least a row, which is apparently three Oreos. So <laughs> might be a little adventuring there. We'll see what happens. The recipe's not going to be perfect, but nothing I do ever is. Cool Whip, which uh, apparently, uh, as I learned from Chelsea, can freeze. Uh, I've never encountered frozen Cool Whip. JT actually said uh, that I needed to call you out on that. He doesn't think texturally it can freeze. So, like, there's going to need to be some science behind it. I, I, I've never encountered it frozen, but I, I don't know, man. And, uh, yeah, so I have no guesses. Okay. I'll address the JT things in just a few minutes. <laughs> but we're going to make an ice cream sandwich cake. Oh, yeah, ice cream sandwiches. There's also ice cream sandwiches. And I had a hard time in the store going between the Neapolitan, the mint chocolate chip, the chocolate chip, and the plain. So I was like, all right, I don't need plain. But I don't know what she's doing, so maybe we don't want to venture too far out. So I got the chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches, which maybe will make up for the Oreo. Yeah, I think it will. I think... This is going to turn out great. So I feel like I should kind of back up a little bit and just say that when I first had this recipe, yeah, there weren't all these crazy ice cream sandwiches. You pretty much only just had like the regular ones. And now everything's different, like you mentioned when you went to the store. I ended up going with the plain. I'm a plain Jane, so. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm, 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 we, we are in your hands. We're trusting you. You've got your, uh, Seasonally appropriate apron. Christmas. Ready for uh, Christmas. Are you decorated for Christmas? A lot of people were doing that. No, I'm not really a believer in that. I mean, you can leave your Christmas uh, lights up for a little bit longer, but by January, like the end of January, they need to be down. And you can't decorate for Christmas until it's actually December. We, we had a neighbor once when I was a kid who uh, would regularly just leave his lights up so eventually like march would roll around and you know the sun would go down the street lights would go on and so it is christmas lights because well if you got them flaunt them you know i guess everybody has that one neighbor because i used to have a neighbor that would do the same thing just kept them up and at night time they would come on so. all right let's make this okay so first things first, uh, I know you mentioned that you went with the chocolate everything, but I got this recipe from my mom, and she's not actually a chocolate fan. I know she's weird. I did not get my love of chocolate from her, obviously, but I did like the butterscotch, so I went with the butterscotch everything. I've got my butterscotch uh, topping and butterscotch pudding as well. So what you're going to do, you're going to take half a cup of the topping. So we're putting this in a bowl. Uh, I'm putting mine in, yes. I'm going to measure mine out and then put it into a bowl. Half a cup. Ugh. So 
I've not used it before, but uh, it's slow to come out. So, uh, okay. Well, this is partially my fault. It says to warm up. I found multiple recipes, one of which is the chocolate. You're supposed to warm it up, but I'm not warming butterscotch and it's coming out fine. So, I thought chocolate would be fine too. That's why chocolate's superior. <laughs> and most. Uh, it's got staying power. Oh uh, yeah, spoon that into the into the lovely container. <laughs> my uh, my half cup is dirty because I just finished making dinner. So uh, we're just gonna do two fourth cups, and uh, that adds up. It works. So I guess while you're doing that, I kind of got to ask you about the Oreos. What do you really think happened to those Oreos? Well, there's a couple of theories going around the house right now, and one of them that seems incredibly plausible is that I've been eating Oreos because I have been eating Oreos, um, and that that's where they all went. But but the fact of the matter is I uh, said, hey, do we have Oreos? <laughs> yeah, we have a row. And she said she was sure, but there's no row of Oreos. There's three, which... <laughs> Really, the fact that I had any doubt, I should have just grabbed Oreos, because it's not like I want to eat them, clearly. All right, a half cup of fudge topping. Okay, so go ahead. You haven't already. What's that? Go ahead and put that in your bowl. You haven't already. Oh, it is. It doesn't look the most appealing. Chocolate, when it gets thick, looks weird. What does it look but like? Maybe, well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to ruin this dessert, but uh, <laughs> uh, not good. <laughs> I mean, down to the texture. Look at it. Of course, you can't look at it. Sam, look at it. <laughs> I don't want. Chelsea has a camera. Look. Chelsea has a camera person because she's bougie like that. All right, do you have your Cool Whip on hand? Uh, I've got generic brand Cool Whip. Yes, I, I have whipped topping as well. You're going to take a cup of that and put it in your bowl. That cup is clean. We're in business. So I feel like we're going to come to a really fun part in this where we're going to have to unwrap, good Lord, a cup of... This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's basically the whole container. Eight plus ounces. <laughs> and yes, it's a good thing I like whipped cream or whipped topping. Sorry. This can definitely free. It was hard as a rock. I left it in the freezer yesterday when I took it down. It was hard as could be. So it definitely freezes. That's the rumor I hear. I don't know. I'm not on either side of that battle. Well, either way, it's okay now. It's been refrigerated. It's soft. And so you're going to mix up your Cool Whip with your topping. I think that's to make the, the chocolate look more appetizing. <laughs> to make it look less like uh, toilety. <laughs> toilety, that's a word. I just want to make this uh, white whipped topping brown. What's that? Go ahead and add your instant pudding next. The whole pack. Oh, lordy. So we're looking good here. A nice mixed uh, fudge topping and uh, whipped Topping. It's all a bunch of toppings so far. So I had to add this pudding. So we're just doing a whole pack of pudding. Yep. Okay. That one I did spring for the brand name on because, well, let's be real, there's only one game in pudding and it's so cheap. <laughs> Affordable. Affordable. Cool. Down here must really like the butterscotch because I couldn't find it in the brand. All I could get it in was food line. 
This is this is the weirdest bowl of pudding I've ever made. <laughs> uh, inhaling chocolate dust. Uh, this this doesn't look this doesn't look texturally right at all. <laughs> it's like turning into a bread dough. <laughs> All right, so we like wait for it to rise for like two hours. No, nope, just make sure it's all blended and not gritty. <laughs> it's supposed to kind gritty. of, look, but yours is going to be chocolate. So, <laughs> how do you like your pudding, gritty? <laughs> I like to chew it. Please. Gross. Okay. Have you got your... nope. Oh no, we're we are we're using chocolate here. We are gritty is uh, still a thing. <laughs> Alright, that's as pretty as that's gonna get. Right. Okay, so we got our pudding topping mixture. Okay, kind of set that to the side and grab your uh, <laughs> your three Oreos. <laughs> oh, this one's broken, so I've got like <laughs> two three fourths. Yeah, broken Oreo. That's 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 where we're living right now. Keep All it. right, getting you a head start on crushing them. Oh well, that makes life easy. Yeah. And eventually I'm going to get out my uh, rolling pin here. You know what? I've only got three Oreos. I don't even need a big freezer bag. Do you have, like, m and or something on them? No, I I have dark chocolate chips. That can kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing dark chocolate chips. Yeah, I was like, I think you could do that. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to go rogue. Dark chocolate chips. Just to, uh, I mean, that's that's the whole spirit here is I'm making it up as I go. It's all uh, BS. And you have a rolling pin, which is fancy, but uh, I didn't know we needed tools. Well, it's this way. And I should do it. Dark chocolate on chocolate oil. tenderizer <laughs> which is basically a hammer uh, yeah, okay. how broken up does this need to be okay you can probably put in your pudding whipped topping mixture that'll do I suppose oh yeah that's messy Do you remember, did, did you ever make like mud pies when you were a kid? What kind of mud pies are you referring to? Because this, this, is, this is what this is looking like. I just need some gummy worms and we're in business. <laughs> Thick as hell. Because on a farm, Nathan, um, mud pies are a little different, I feel. You made dirt? Huh? You ate dirt? Did I eat dirt? No. I stayed away from mud pies. <laughs> no, you got like the chocolate pudding and then the crumbled Oreos and you throw a gummy worm? Like you've never had that? Well, I have later in life, but growing up as a kid, when you think of a mud pie and you're used to hearing that like in regards in relation to farm life, 
Yeah, I didn't want anything, you know, to do with that. Well, but I had the dessert. And the cows bake them for you? Yes. <laughs> so, Nathan, then you're going to mix it into your topping if you haven't already. It's mixed. Look, oh. look at that. It's so thick. The spoon, the spoon can hold itself at a right angle. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, then we're going to start to build our actual sample. So let me get the... And we're going to use our ice cream. And you can either build this on like heavy aluminum foil or use some kind of plate that you can put in the freezer. But line either way. We'll use foil. Uh, freezer space is at a premium. Plus, I love this sound. So you're telling me I gotta unwrap this already assembled ice cream sandwich yeah. to make a new ice cream sandwich? It's gonna be quite a. Thing. You're like the person who invented the twice baked potato. Hey, those are good. I applaud whoever did that. All right, the first layer is gonna be four ice cream sandwiches. Four. You said four, correct? Yes, sorry. All I can hear is the unwrapping ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> good, uh, good ambient noise. If uh, someone out there is like falling asleep to this. <laughs> yeah, how'd they know? I really, uh, I really like the sound of ice cream sandwiches unwrapping. Or they're doing other things, I don't know. The internet's a weird place. There are some really dark places on the internet. So is there any particular shape I need to be laying these out in? Uh, so you're going to want to do, I guess, a triangle. A triangle? Well, when you said, uh, can you, here, let me, if I, let me put the fourth one down and I'll show you what I mean by, or not a triangle, a rectangle. It's been a long day. I've gotten into healthy. Did you just confuse a triangle and a rectangle? Yes. <laughs> How much have you had to drink today? Uh, I've had some wine already. But it's I know what a rectangle is. I can handle that. Yeah. Trying. Sam's like, what the heck are you talking about? College educations aren't what they used to be. Okay. Shames. Keep in mind, she went to a school that's like, like all about engineering. <laughs> <laughs> but note, I did not study engineering. <laughs> all I'm saying, our you students know what triangles are and rectangles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's very, you know, I, you shouldn't generalize like that. Maybe they don't. You never know. Most of us do. Next step, after you have your pour laid out, you're going to take some of your mixture and spread it on top. I'm, I mean, I'm going to try. <laughs> it's pretty thick. From the sound of yours, it's pretty thick. You're only going to be doing two layers of this, so you can go pretty liberal with just like half your mixture. You know what? I'm really excited for this. It's super rich. Yeah. It is going to be good. Only I had something to scrape the chocolate off the spoon, spread it. Like, I don't know, these icing spreaders, which is basically, oh, it's kind of like, you know what? This is kind of like an ice cream cake if uh, you don't happen to have like a Dairy Queen or a Cold Stone nearby. Yeah, exactly. It's also probably more of a cheaper version of this. This is, we'll call this the Pinterest ice cream cake. Okay. I'll go with it. So have you, you been able to spread your mixture out? Actually, yeah, I'm surprised. Okay, perfect. So once you've got a nice little layer on there, you're going to do another layer of the ice cream sandwiches. 
Four more? Are we? Oh, that's how we're building the triangle. I see. We're going to do extra ice cream sandwiches on the next layer. Maybe we should have started with more at the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I should have just gone with that. We're going to make a pyramid out of these. I never would have known. I would have been like, well, I, I would have started the other way, but this is Chelsea's dessert. <laughs> Oh, buddy. There's going to be a lot of chocolate. Maybe I should have gone with, like, you know, caramel would have been a, a solid choice, too. But you told me butterscotch. Well, because that's what I'm going to do, but the recipe did call for chocolate. And plus, I didn't want you to really know exactly what you were going to be fixing. And I was afraid if I gave you all these options, you would know. Honestly, I thought, I'm going to be fully honest with you. I thought the uh, rest of the ingredients were a decoy and we were just going to eat ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Full disclosure. I have to even really think of that. <laughs> I was like, Chelsea's just phoning this in. We're just going to, like, have all these other toppings to do nothing with. But obviously, I don't think like that if I can't even get my shapes right, so. Shapes are hard. That's like, uh, I mean, you got to fit all that knowledge somewhere, and some of it's got to go away. How, how, how many times are you, like, using triangles in your daily life? I really can't think of any. That's obvious. <laughs> oh no an ice cream sandwich broke have you are you able to lay out well you know you can just put the broken one on there still and maybe fill it in with some of your mixture keep them together use it like glue you good call good call and so once you've got your fourth one down on that second row go ahead and put your rest of your mixture on top Oh, buddy. So all of it, like the rest of it just goes on top. Yeah, because that's your last layer of the mixture. I'm a little curious to know how uh, how you propose that people eat these. You mean when it's all said and done? Yeah, like how? how, how? Not with your hands. This is... Yeah, I mean, you know, you cut it like you would a cake, and you grab a plate and a fork and enjoy. Okay. I'm trusting you. It's going to turn out good. This... What are you doing? So, one more layer of your ice cream sandwiches. So when I was telling Cindy about this, she said, Chelsea's making a trifle. Was there meat in the ingredients? <laughs> she was worried you were going to pull a uh, Rachel from Friends. I don't think I've seen that episode. Oh, she makes like a, a, a trifle and then like <laughs> there's peas and uh, meat in it. Yeah. And Joey's the only one who likes it. You know, I thought I heard that they're coming out with a cookbook that includes the recipes from that show. Maybe we don't make that one. Yeah, probably not. I think I would stick with Monica's recipes. Monica seemed to know what she was doing. She was the chef cook in the group. Ah, today you're the chef. With quotation marks. Definitely quotation marks. All right. Do you have your third and final layer of the ice cream sandwiches? I'm working on it. These wrappers are tricky. And, like, I've got – there's just so much trash all over my kitchen right now. It's causing me anxiety. <laughs> I like to keep mine confined to this little space. <laughs> As you know, I don't like messes and – this is very messy. It's about to be over. 
Thank God. Oh, Lordy. All right, I got my fourth layer. Oh, my God, this is not level at all. <laughs> Who the hell designed this? You did. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some video footage here to uh, document the, uh, it's not, not bad. Not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but it's not the ugliest. Sam, tell Chelsea how it looks. All right, maybe we should flip it real quick. I'm going to show her. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Yeah, I can see your, uh. You're like little decline there at the end. It's not bad though. I was trying for a triangle. Too many sides. Darn the triangle. All right, well, there's one more step that you got to do before it goes in the. Technically, two more. Steps. What are they? That's attractive. Gotta try it. <laughs> So what are these steps? All right. Can we flip the back right for me? Thank you. Stand the cameraman. You're going to take the remainder of your pool no, lid? No. <laughs> Having technical difficulties. Oh, flipping. I'm going to take the remainder of the cool whip. And you're going to spread it over just the whole thing. All right. So here's a thought. We're putting this in the freezer, right? Yeah. Won't the cool it freeze? It will harden in what I would freeze, yes. I guess this is part of our science experiment now. All right. I can't wait to prove this, prove JT wrong or right. The remainder of the, good Lord. There's so much. All right. Yeah. It looks pretty. This will this will cover up any uh, flaws in my process. Exactly. Oop. Okay. Oh. Final step, but we're having technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> Should I put it on the sides too? Because I did. Yes, you're gonna put it on the sides as well. What about the bottom? Yeah. No, you can't get to the bottom. Or, I mean, I guess if you can, be my guest. Just checking to see if you're paying attention or if you've given up on me. Oh, yeah. With this cool whip, you can't even tell I suck at this. <laughs> and once everybody's eating it, they're not going to care anyways. Oh, yeah. All right, so what now? Oh, hang on just a second. Okay, did you put this on foil? Yes, I did. All right, wrap it up, but like keep it kind of loose. You don't want it really tight. Otherwise, all the Cool Whip and everything will come off when you open it. Wait, before... Before I ruin this, because it's going to get ruined, because that's the way the world works. I do want to document that, that I made something that doesn't look completely <laughs> horrible. So, <laughs> oh, that does look bad, actually. You know what? We'll just look at it from the top. Look at how good it looks up top. There we go. All right. And uh, I can cook. Baking's not my, uh... oh, good. I got a. Cream all over my phone. So we want to go loose with this. Yes. What if we didn't appropriately measure and these sides are entirely exposed? Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Did you put yours on a pan? I put it on a plate. Yeah, I'm going to need a plate. 
the only solution. To the plate dispenser. Cabinet. That's the word. Almost said triangle. <laughs> All right, and we put it in the freezer now? Yep, for a couple of hours, and then you can eat uh, whenever. At what time should I take it out so the Cool Whip doesn't freeze? Want it to be kind of crisp, so you can take it out right before you eat it. What if I leave it, like, till Monday? I think that it would be okay in the freezer until then, yes. All right, that's what we're going to do. Thank you so much. What's this called again? It's an ice cream sandwich cake. <laughs> no, the show you're on. My show? Well, my show, the one you're on right now, but... BSing with Big Nate. Damn straight. And uh, where can they find you, Chelsea? Yes, I'm located down in Myrtle Beach, so if you ever find yourself down here, you can tune in to Easy 105.9 and 100.7. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you.